Hey everybody, welcome back to another Classics Are Better. I'm Travis. Today, we're gonna give my 68 Impala some love. So, fresh oil, fresh oil filter, new upper radiator hose, and then we're gonna go cruising. So, it's great weather today. We're gonna go cruise on some back roads out here in Texas. Let's get after it. All right, so it is fun with the Impala Day. A couple things on the to-do list. I am going to do a new upper rad hose, replace this one. It's starting to fray down there. I don't like that. Uh, I also don't like that it has to be a flex hose, but they wanted like four or five days to order a molded one, and I wasn't sure if it would fit around this thing anyway. So flex hose it is. And then I am going to go ahead and change the oil again in this. Uh, I've run it a little bit since I did that first start and I want to go ahead and get it all fresh again. Um, I like Wix filters, uh, but you know, any good quality filter will work for you. And then also I use the STP additive. You don't have to have STP, but just make sure on one of these old motors, it has the ZDDP in it, the zinc, so that your cam and lifters and everything are happy and don't eat themselves alive. Especially again, if you're going to use like a synthetic oil in one of these old cars, they just didn't have synthetic oil back then and they are not made to handle that. So make sure you get the additive and don't tear up your stuff. Anyway, let's get to it so we can get cruising. So the oil coming out looks okay. Ooh. All right, so oil is freshly changed. It looked good, didn't have any kind of like milkshake in it, you know, gasoline, uh, antifreeze, stuff like that. I didn't see any metal chunkies or shiny bits. So I'm gonna call it good on this and go on to the next. Okay y'all, so let's see if we can get this upper rad hose switched out. This one has uh, seen better days. So hopefully I can do this without hosing my entire uh, engine bay here and antifreeze. So fingers crossed on that. Okay, let's not splash. Probably be smart to have a rag just in case. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is going to be a mess. Oh yeah, yeah it's going to be a mess. Ooh. Well, that sucks. Well, I guess it's good I had coolant everywhere. It sucks I'm getting antifreeze all over my floor. Oh nuts, not what I wanted to do. Screw it. That made a mess. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that made a mess. Oh well. Dang. I was really hoping to avoid something exactly like that from happening. But uh Oh, and it's it's everywhere. Okay. I'll be back. This is gonna take extra cleaning. And I'm sure this is going to leak some more up here. Oh, we'll go ahead and do that. Come on. Oh, oh. All right. A little bit of leakage. Not too bad. Okay, so that made a huge mess. Um, just FYI, if you would like to avoid that, you can always use... Well, you can't see it from here, but right down on the bottom corner, normally on the passenger side on these old cars, uh, sometimes it's on the driver's side, but there'll be a little um, knob called a petcock that you can just turn and drain it. Uh, technically, I could have drained some of the antifreeze out of here until it came out of that hose, even though 
between there and the block probably wouldn't have drained so because it's a, a downhill motion or whatever or not motion but it's a downhill so the water would have sat there or antifreeze would have sat there but anyway if you want to make less of a mess you can drain it i'm lazy i just want to switch the hose out and then i'll top it off with whatever antifreeze i lost so that's what i want to do because old antifreeze is a pain in the butt to store and to get rid of um i know this believe me And on these, <clears throat> when you're cranking them down, once you think you have it tight, uh, enough not to leak, crank it like three more turns. All right, now we got fresh oil, fresh oil filter, and a new rad hose, and I topped it off with new antifreeze, so let's go for a cruise, see how she does. Okay, y'all, let's go for a little drive. This is what it's like driving a 1968 Impala. Welcome to the back roads in Texas, where you can have beautiful homes on one side and nothing but field and cows on the other. But she's plugging away about 40, 45, no problem, we'll go. Guess I'm going a little slower now, but not bad.
All right, y'all. So I'm going to consider this a huge success. Uh, the old girl did pretty good. So our little mini tune-up worked just fine. Um, it does idle a little bit high, so I am going to have to adjust the idle. Uh, but other than that, it, it ran great. It got up to 55, which is faster than this car has gone in a decade. So thank you guys for watching me work on the old car a little bit and go for a cruise in the old 68 Impala. Um, keep watching. Soon I'll have some more stuff on my 67 Camaro and 66 C10. That C10 hadn't been on the road in 20 plus years, so it's been fun. Waiting on parts has been the hardest part of all this. But anyway, check back in soon. Please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It helps me with all the YouTube algorithms and whatnot and such. So get out there, get wrenching my friends, and check back in soon. Take it easy. Yeah.